Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn how to write a script in Nano Editor. There are many editors available to write the script, but for this video, I am preferring Nano Editor. Now, first of all, you are going to write Nano, and then with space, you are going to name the file. Write the name of the file. So I take the name of the file as demo with dot the extension of the file. So as we are writing a script, so I will name it as sh because I am using Bash shell. So the name of the file is demo dot sh. So if I enter, then I will directly reach to the nano editor. As you can see now, we are into the nano editor, and here the nano editor version is four point eight, and the name of the file that we have uh, that we were trying to enter is demo dot sh. And now see at the bottom of this nano editor, you can see there are different options available. Like if you want to cut the text, so you have a control key shortcut that you can press on the Uh, keyboard similarly for pasting the text you have control u to come out of the particular nano editor you have to use control x and to need if you need some help you can use control g so according to your use you can use any of these options which are available at the bottom of this nano editor now let's start writing a small script in the nano editor so whenever you write any script so first of all you have to write hash then exclamation sign with space you are uh, writing bin uh forward slash bin forward slash bash so this is going to give you the location of your bash right after that i'm just writing a simple command where i want to with the help of echo i want to display that i am inside this nano editor i am writing welcome to nano editor then i'm just leaving one line so that it is properly visible to you then i write touch space and i'm creating a file here so i write new dot txt so i'm creating a text file and its name is new right after that i'm going to you know write some content in this file after reaching inside this and i'm writing echo hello and then i am redirecting this output hello to file new dot txt be careful that you have to use this operator uh, then only you will see the output because we are trying to add something to this so we are trying to redirect the output to this file after that i am writing ls again this output has to be redirected to this file only new dot txt and then again you will write simply you are displaying a message exit from nano editor now you are coming out of the nano editor right so as i have told you when you have to come out of this editor you will to exit then you have to write you have to press control x on your keyboard i am pressing it and you will see that i am coming out i am trying to come out of it but now it has three options it is asking whether you want to save the file then press y if you don't want to save the file then press n and if you want to cancel and you want to still want to be there then you can write control c but i want to save it and go outside it so i am pressing yes and now uh, i have to simply enter so that i come to my terminal back right so i am back into my terminal now and here <clears throat> if i have to run this file and the name of the file is demo.sh now let's see whether it has been created or not if i write ls you can see that demo.sh has been created in your present working directory but what about the file that we created inside the demo.sh we created a file new.txt inside this but as you can see that there is no file naming new.txt in your present working directory that will be only visible to you once you run this file right so you have to execute this shell script and to run this we have to use dot forward slash so if you use this then what happens is you have to you know uh, prefix give a prefix to every file so before the name of a file you have to always write this then only you can see uh, the execution so i am writing demo dot sh so once you write this you are trying to execute or run this script so once you are trying to run it but it is saying that permission is not allowed on this file so for that uh, let's see what are the different permissions on this file so i am writing demo.sh so once you write it you can see that uh, to all the three groups execute permission is not given you cannot run this file right 
and r means read w means write and x means execute so i am going to give execute permission to this for that i have to use chmod chmod is a command which is used to change the permission of a file and then i am writing plus x plus x means i am adding i am giving permission which permission execute permission to now then i have to write the name of the file that is demo.sh now when you can see that if you am if you will try to run this file then you can run this file because i have given the permission to this file and let's see the content now and as you can see that here this execute permission has been given to all the groups right so execute permission is given to all the file uh, all the groups of this file and now we can perfectly execute it so now let's clear the screen and see so you can use the arrow button top arrow button so that you can go to the previous commands that we have used so this is used to run the file run the script so when i run when i'm trying to run it you can see the output welcome to the nano editor exit from the nano editor now let's see the content of this file demo.sh so what was being written here here you can see that this was the content that we have written in the demo.sh file and here first of all i tried to print welcome to nano editor which is written here after that what we did was we created a file empty file new.txt now this file is created only when you run this this script that we have written so this is there that i will show you now and this new.txt will be only created after its execution and then this is empty and we are trying to write hello here in the new uh, new.txt file and also we are uh, writing the output of this ls command into this file so both uh, this content that we are trying to write will be redirected to which file new.txt and this output will be available in t uh, new.txt file but not in your demo.sh that we have written so that is why we can see only these two outputs right now if i write ls you can see that you can see that these two files have been created here i have created only one file so you can see that new.txt file is also available now now because this is a text file so you can see the color of this file is white but what about demo.sh you can see that demo.sh is a scripted file so that is why the color of this is green so you can see all other available files in this present working directory loop1.sh loop.sh all these files are in green color because a shell script is represented by green color in your present working directory and your folders or directories are represented by blue color right downloads documents new folder templates all these are blue, blue color and then or uh, the text file is in white color so you can see here these all are your directories or you can also call it as folders and then this is your text file and this these all are your scripted files shell scripted files right and you can see that uh, the gui given to all of them are different so for text file this is uh, different from the scripted file in this uh, shell scripted file you can see we have uh, this symbol which is used to denote the shell script and then these are the directories which are represented by folders right so now let's try to uh, see what is available in this file new file so as we can see that uh, this file has been created so if you want to read the content of this file you will simply write new.txt and what is available in this hello is there and the output of ls command and ls command gives you all the files and directories available in the current working directory so that that has been displayed here right and also you can directly open the file by the command xdg open and then you write new dot txt so you can see the file will open now and this is how you can open the file and that all content is available here also right or you can directly go here and you can open it from here as well so if you open it you can see the same content has been written here also because that is the same file so you can see the content now close it come back to this right so in this way you can see that uh, this was all about your nano editor right and uh, similarly if you try to open this file that we have created demo.sh if you open this 
you can see the script written in this file so this was the script that we have written in the nano editor so similarly you can open that also right so this was all about nano editor i hope you understood the basic of nano editor go through the other videos where i have explained how to create simple scripts in notepad g edit vi editor and then choose the one that suits you and do your scripting in the same editor see because uh, you have to switch to a particular editor only so write two or three scripts in all the editors all editors means uh, what are available uh, in the market so you can choose some of the editors that i have mentioned that is vi editor g edit editor or you can also write in notepad or you can also choose nano and there are many other editors available and after uh, checking your flexibility and comfort and are the of different options given to the different editors you can choose any one of them and then for uh, learning this shell scripting you can prefer the same nano uh, editor and then you can continue your uh, you know writing scripts in the same editor itself so that's all for today i hope you like the lecture so if you like the lecture please uh, get stay tuned to my lectures and uh, happy learning thank you so much